Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel and today's video will be about my experience as a first year or freshman in Ateneo de Manila University. So, let's get on with the video. So, for starters, I am a BS Computer Science student and this is my experience. For enlistment, I gotta say when I heard people joking about Ateneo's enlistment being the Hunger Games, I thought they just may be over-exaggerating it but Nope, it's not. So, I was able to get an upperclassman to teach me how to do the enlistment quick and it's kind of confusing that up to now, I still make mistakes in enlisting, especially during intercession. And as a result, I lost my slot with one of the best profs. Also, enlistment is random and this means you will be given a batch number. So, if you are in batch 1, or two, then congrats, you have like a 90% chance of getting the good profs and your preferred time while those in batch 3 and 4 have to suffer. Honestly, I've always been in batch 3 and 4 so I just had to learn how to act fast. Literally, I would have 4 alternative times and profs per subject that I'm gonna enlist since I don't even know if my first and second choice will push through since that's everyone's first or second choice. Also for first years, you guys just need to enlist for PE and NATSAI and foreign language classes and any classes you will have for intercession if you guys will ever have. So make this as a practice game since next time in third year or fourth year, you will have to enlist for all of your subjects. Next is professors. So I had a lot of good professors but at the same time, I had my own fair share of terror professors, one or two locally for this time period. And one terror professor for a semester is already enough for me to get stressed. I still have nightmares about that class and it's not a good thing. And I can't even imagine the students who have two or more terror professors. And just to note, any professor that is teaching a DISCS subject will 100% be a good prof. And this came from the 4th and 3rd years, which is nice since my major is in the DISCS, which is Department of Information Systems and Computer Science. But I gotta say, most of the profs are really nice and considerate and passionate. I particularly enjoyed my NLIT class because of the teacher. The readings she gave are really intriguing and she only used a few readings for the semester and just let us improve our analysis on that one reading which made me enjoy or appreciate the reading more and i'm also thankful that the math professors that i had are the best maybe even better than the ones in my high school and just listening to their lecture already made me understand the lesson and i did not need to waste time searching for math youtube videos like i did back in high school so yeah there are good profs and there are profs and getting a good prof will always make the subject easier to study on. Next is subjects. So you might have already know that there are a lot of subjects to take in Ateneo compared to other universities and this is really true. So we have this thing called core classes which are required by every student no matter what course you are in Ateneo to take and these subjects include the mandatory subjects by um, CHED and Ateneo's other subjects like theology. And to be honest, I took more units for core classes than my major classes during the first year and it can actually be quite draining especially if you hate reading since most of the core classes are humanity based subjects so if you hate the core classes or extra subjects then please don't bother applying here. Most of the subjects that I found hard were the core classes but honestly I felt that I learned a lot of I learned a lot from them like societal issues faced by our country to which was never really taught or talked about in other schools and in a way it makes you aware of what problems we are facing and a deeper analysis on these problems so that once we graduate we may be able to contribute or to help solve these problems in whatever professions we are gonna do. Next is intercession. So since Ateneo added a lot of Core classes compared to other universities, some students may be taking around 30 or more units which can be mentally tiring and physically draining and this is why Ateneo has intercession which is also known as summer term and this is six weeks long 
and this is so that the load of students is much lesser during the first and second semester. Now, not all students have to take intercession. It just depends on the student's major if that major has a lot of units already in general without adding Ateneo score classes. So usually, I think most or if not all, all SOSE or School of Science and Engineering students have intercession, including me. And in my case, I have intercession every summer until I graduate, which is a bummer. Now, students can also use intercession to overload some subjects so that they will have lesser load during first or second semester. And I highly advise you to never take a math subject voluntarily during the intercession since it will be loads of cramming where the professor will cram a semester's worth of knowledge in six weeks. Next are the lessons I learned from Ateneo. So after a year in Ateneo, there are definitely some things I learned. One is that you will at least once there get a low grade. And this was true because my first low grade was in my Filipino class where I got a C since the professor was kind of a terrible teacher. And this is the first C I ever got. And to be honest, it only hurt for like a day and then I just moved on from it because I know that I gave it my all in that subject and I could not control what the professor will I get but I can definitely control the effort that I can give to that subject and I know I gave my 110% to that subject to the point looking at my time tracker, Filipino was the third subject I spent the most time on. As long as you did your best, be proud of yourself and a C won't end your life. You have plenty of chances to make it up in your other subjects. Next lesson is that cramming in college is harder than cramming in high school. Usually in high school, I can start the assignment the day before it is due and still finish it on time. In college, I would be lucky to have a subject whose assignments or tests are crammable. Assignments in college is more painstaking and need a lot of work, which is why you will probably need to start the assignment at least three days before the due date. Even the lesson content for tests is heavier than in high school since in high school, I usually only have one module as the content for the test, whereas in college, your test content will probably be three modules or more. If you are able to cram in college and still get good grades, then you are really great and I salute you for that. Last is, it's okay if you haven't found the right friend group. To be honest, when I attended the orientation and look at Facebook posts, it seems most of my blockmates have already found their own friendship group while I still haven't. Yes, I know my blockmates, but I don't know for them, they can say that they are close to me. And making friends has always been a problem for me since I am really awkward and don't know the right kind of words to say. And after talking to someone, my mind will just say, Wow, that's awkward, or I think you shouldn't have said that, which is why it is hard to converse with other people and to even keep the conversation going. But it does not mean I will be friendless. Time will come when we will meet the right people we need in real life, so don't be bothered if in the few weeks of school we still don't have a friend group. Maybe if you will study in Ateneo, we can be friends if ever we will be able to meet up. And those are my experiences and lessons I have learned during my first year in Ateneo. I will be uploading a more comprehensive how-to guide for surviving college, which includes mostly study tips and probably stuff you'll need for college. I hope you enjoyed today's video, and if you do, please like and subscribe to be notified of my upcoming videos. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!